Hey everybody, it's May from Black Mountain Plans, and today I have a little mini haul of some items that I got at Dollar Tree and Walmart to use for my new Faith That Printables, so just stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm going to be very honest and no one should laugh. Please don't laugh. <laughs> I haven't been to a dollar store in probably three, four years. I'm not even joking. So when I decided to set up my filming station this morning to go ahead and start my Faith Dex cards, I was like, you know what? Let me see what supplies are at Walmart and at Dollar Tree in case, you know, you're not a crafter and you don't have like Hobby Lobby backloaded a truck like it did in my house. So I went to the store and I was thinking about the way I want to do my Faith Dex cards. And I was looking through all of the supplies in both stores. And I was pretty shocked at what was in the Dollar Tree. I really was. So, the first thing I picked up was these um, pump spray bottles to hold water in, like little mini misters. I thought that was really cool. For $1.25, it's way better than the little three-pack of misters for like 6 $7. So, I will definitely be using this. I usually stamp out my ink pad and add water to it and then... Um, I'll color fabric or paper or whatever I want to do. So I picked up the pump spray bottles. Okay, what else was that Dollar Tree? Then I picked up some tool in yellow. They had a lot of pastel colors right now because of Easter, but the lady told me that they usually keep tool no matter what on little rolls like this. And you get four yards. I mean, that's a crazy amount. Anyone who buys tool, like I used to for hair bows, you have so much tool, you can't get rid of it on a spool. A lot of people like to buy several. You don't need to. Just buy a couple colors that you like. Okay, so they had tool. Then they had these really cool things. Um, piercing and score tool set. Scoring. So, like, if you're using a scoreboard or you're using your paper trimmer. Let's go ahead and open this cutter up. Like, if you're wanting to pierce the center of flowers or anything like that to thread... Uh, you know, twine or anything through, you have the piercing end. And if you don't have a scoring board, but you have a paper trimmer, you can use this end and score right down the gully in the paper trimmer. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I can always use a piercing tool because I don't know if I told you, but I love to make flowers. So pick that up at the Dollar Tree. Um, the next thing I got was a, a much smaller um, art palette. And it was really cool because it came with six. So I liked that. And I can also use this to hold my little teeny bits and bobs while I'm crafting. So that was really neat. Then I picked up... <clears throat> these are kind of weird, but I have an idea for them. They're the jewel borders. So I take it through a sticker and you can just cut it to the length you need. Definitely going to be using this. This yellow really goes great with the little... Um, the little tray that I made for my Faith Dex cards. So I'm going to definitely be using this. Then I picked up, I didn't know they had stamps, y'all. That was cracking me up. I was like, they got stamps. And even if they're not the greatest stamps in the world, I can turn it into an art media look if they don't want to stamp clear. So this really pretty one with the butterflies. And then this one I really liked because of the birds. So I can always find a reason to stamp these on my Faith Dex cards. Then I found some foam mounting dots. You guys, this stuff can be expensive when you buy it from Graphic 45. And the fact that they had this and it's 48 dots total and they're really large. You could cut them into fours. You could cut it in half. I liked it. And they also had the double-sided foam tape. So, and they're in three lengths. Uh, I mean, what? So it looks like it's a quarter of an inch, a half an No, probably a quarter. No. Yeah, a quarter of an inch. Um, no, that looks like an eighth of an inch. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I keep saying it different. It's an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, and it looks like, uh, three eighths. So, that's awesome. Can never have too much foam tape, let me tell you. Especially when you do a lot of dimensionals like I do. Okay, the next thing I picked up was, I love to do, um, things with texture paste and with, um, oh, with, uh, <clears throat> gel mediums. And instead of having to use like an old business card, you could definitely use these icing combs like you do for, you know, when you ice in a cake. <coughs> and there's three in here. And I like that how that this one has a design on it. So if you're using texture paste, you could get like waves for like the ocean or clouds for the sky. Really neat idea and super awesome to have in my stash. Okay, so the next couple of things that I got from the Dollar Tree are... 
let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I picked up some little trays, little wooden trays. I thought these little boxes were adorable. And the Heidi Swap Memory Dex cards, if you don't have the punch and you just want to make flat cards, <coughs> excuse me, or you have the cards, like if you buy my printable and you actually cut out, you know, these slots, but you don't want to put straws or anything in it, they'll just fit nicely in there, guys. And you got plenty of room for dimensionals. I just think it's an awesome idea. It really, really is. So I bought three of these. I don't know if I'm going to turn them into memory decks boxes or just to hold my ephemera, but I really, really liked that idea. The next little tray I got was in this shape, like a little buffet tray, just on the mini scale. I thought it was super cute. And the Heidi Swap cards do fit just, they're a little teeny bit bowed. But I'm probably going to use this for ephemera, 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 definitely. But I just thought it was super cute. I mean, you could line up, you could measure the inside of this and make little cards, and you could go all the way down and be super cute. I just thought it was really adorable. So I picked that one up. Then I was really, really hoping that this one would work for memory decks cards. That way you wouldn't have to build a chipboard box. You could just paint it, decorate it however you want to. But the Heidi Swap memory decks cards don't fit in here. However, her cards are four and a quarter. And most people who make memory decks and faith decks cards cut them to four by three. Mine will be sized to four by three. And this is a four by three card. And look at that, guys. It fits perfect. Fits perfect. You can just stack them up and keep on going. And that's at the Dollar Tree, y'all. This is definitely going to be a memory deck tray. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so what else did I grab at the Dollar Tree? Oh, I picked up these paper patty squares. They're basically just little wax sheets and they're non-stick. So like if you're inking something on the edges and you don't have a crafting mat or you didn't think to grab a spare piece of paper or something, these are really, really cool. I mean, you can put these right underneath your project and make sure that you don't mess up your workstation. Really cool idea. For 100 sheets, yeah, I grabbed it. Okay, and so the last thing that I got at the Dollar Tree, y'all are gonna laugh. No, I'm sorry, there was one more thing. I bought a, um, I don't, this is more than a fat quarter. This looks like it is mm, 18 by 24. It looks like it's just under a yard. It might be a yard. I'm not sure. Oh, anyway, it's just white muslin material, right? Just basic white cotton. And what I will do is take my ink pads and smush out plenty of ink. Use those mini pump spray bottles with water. And I will actually color this fabric to match whatever project I'm going on. I'll cut off just what I need to either make a frilly border, a fabric rosette, whatever I want, just some texture. Might even put it on a paper clip on the top of the memory decks card. But for a dollar twenty-five, and you get a good bit of fabric that's going to go a long way on little four by three cards. I grabbed it. All right, and so the last thing I like to do when I'm crafting is I love to make paper rosettes, and it can be time consuming using a scoring board and paper. It's gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I was watching um, Lindsay Decor this morning and some of her old Bible journaling um, videos and she had did a faith dex card where she took just a good little bit of this crepe paper, you know, the streamers we used to have for our birthday parties back in like the 80s and 90s. And um, she just pulls off a little bit, cuts it down the center, and then she just winds it all the way around, staples it in the middle. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit different, and I'll show you on video how I'm going to do it, but I didn't have none, if you can believe that. In my room, I've got a lot of crafts and supplies. So I got white, black, oh goodness, <laughs> dark blue, like a royal blue, super pretty. Then I got gray. I was like, oh, yes, let's get some gray. Found a red. I found a dark purple, a light purple at Walmart. So I found it at Walmart. And actually, guys, Walmart was cheaper than the dollar store. So um, it was a dollar at Walmart and a dollar 25 at the, the dollar store. I didn't even know the dollar store went to a dollar 25, y'all. I was like, what? So then I have green, then a lighter green. Then there's yellow for, like, bananas, you know what I mean? Okay, so then um, hot pink or fuchsia pink, and then a baby pink. 
and I found a creamy color that I'm pretty sure I'm going to ink the sides of it to make it really distressed looking, but I like that it's already like creamy color for me. Then I found like this uh, tropical blue and then a very light tealy blue like that. And then last but not least was orange. So I grabbed that. So I've got plenty of colors to be able to do lots of little rosettes. And so while I was in the Dollar Tree, I mean, the, in Walmart, I went ahead and looked in their crafting section because one of the things I love to use when I'm crafting is gelatos. But gelatos is notorious for being a pain in the butt to write on. It, it'll kill your pens. However, again, I was watching YouTube and a lady figured out the secret to use gelatos and to be able to write on them. What you're going to do is when you're mixing your gelatos and you normally put water in it, you just put some of this skull glue, guys. Let it dry, and then you'll be able to not only wipe off excess because it's washable glue, you'll be able to write on it without killing your pens. And it's freaking amazing. I tried it last night. It works. So I picked up two bottles, and then I went ahead and got me some glue sticks because I'm not sure if I need more glue sticks you can never have enough of. I went ahead and picked up some cheap, cheap baby wipes because I always use baby wipes when I'm crafting, mostly for my hands and then also for my craft mat. And last but not least, I can't believe they had this. They had a three-way corner punch. Now, it was $11, but anybody who buys punches knows that these things are going to run $10 to $20 anyway. Just depends on where you get them, if you're using the crocodile, um, the, the corner chomps, and I personally don't like the corner chomps, probably because of my hands. But it's a 10 millimeter rounded square, um, rounded corner, a four millimeter, which will be really nice and small, and then a seven millimeter. And I really, really wanted this because I had three separate ones, a small, medium, and a large, like in a, in a triangle shape. I got a Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, and now I can just use this one punch on my little Bible journaling table. Don't get me wrong, my studio holds all my craft stuff, and I have two full bureau drawers of nothing but punches. But to be able to sit out on my small corner shelf for, I mean, my small shelf for Bible journaling, I want this one specific punch out. Makes no sense to anyone else, but it totally does to me. So you guys, this was my little haul from Walmart and Dollar Tree to get myself prepared. Um, just to do my Faith Dex cards with my printable and some little interesting things and ways to dress it up. With uh, tons of supplies that I have on my own that I'll be showing as well. But I thought this was a really cool way to go ahead and get your little craft stash going. If you didn't have a whole lot in your, in your stash. And I'll be showing you how to make a whole lot of really cool things with some really simple items like streamers or ribbon fabric, staples, paper clips. So I'll come back later this evening and we'll do a video for the Faith Dex cards. I'm going to start, I'm going to do three cards in nine different videos. I'm going to do all nine of the disciplines for Fruit of the Spirit. And I'm going to do all three of my love cards in one video, then the joy, patience, peace, and, and all the way through the fruit of the spirit. So that's what I'm going to start out. And then I'll also be um, posting a Bible journaling process video on the discipline for love this evening. So until I see you guys later tonight, y'all have a good one. Bye.